Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today, I'll show you how to make miniature moss art for your dollhouse out of things I picked up from the dollar store. Let's get crafting. Before we get started, there's a few things that need to be prepped. I found this mini frame at the dollar store and I wanted a different color. So I'm going to paint it using my Rust-Oleum Robin's Egg Blue. I'm also going to stain a few craft sticks. I'm using a briar smoked colored fast dry stain. I wiped the craft sticks with one layer of stain and let them dry for an hour before I use them. I'll add links for the paint and stain in the description box below. To start, Cut out squares and rectangles out of foam core board or cardboard. I'm using foam core board because I have so many scraps lying around. I used the paper insert from the frame to cut a perfect size piece for it. Once your pieces are cut, use green and brown acrylic paint to paint the side and front. You'll want it to look something like this. After everything is dry, you can put the piece into the frame. For this piece, I'm going to be adding some of the stained craft sticks. So I painted the top and the side brown, and I left the part of the board that will be covered unpainted. Cut off the rounded edges of the craft sticks and hot glue them into place. You can do any style of pattern you'd like. Pinterest is full of wonderful ideas. Just search Moss Wall Art. Once your wood is glued on, you can start gluing on green moss. I found the green moss at the dollar store, but a lot of times they're out. You can always find it in the floral section at any craft store. Once it's glued on, you can use your scissors to clip around the edges. Glue on the moss inside the frame. I like to glue it in one section at a time. For the other pieces, I completely cover them in moss. Mm -hmm. 
Now, on to my favorite part, the decorating. For this part, I pulled out my stash of dollar store plants that I've been collecting for a while. <laughs> I'm going to start with the framed piece. Now this is the part where you just need to play around adding different plants here or there to see what you like. I found these fall flowers the other day and I thought it would add a fun color to the design. I cut the flower in half and cut slits into the petals, curl it around itself and glue it to make a succulent. Pieces like this can be cut apart to create more little succulents. Continue to add and move around the pieces. Once you're happy with the design, glue everything in place. For the piece with the wood accents, I'm using a part from the fake spider plant. I trimmed down the leaves so that they wouldn't be so thick. Then I curled it around itself and glued it. I'm using this piece as my focal point for this design. Add more pieces, building up the design. Glue everything down when you're happy with how it looks. You can also use natural items that you find outside, like pine cones, sticks, or rocks. The pieces from this pine cone add a fun color and texture to the design. Huh. 
I always check the floral section at Walmart. Sometimes I find greenery like this for under a dollar. I wanted to talk about my new glue gun. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been testing a few out. My mom found the one I'm using today and loved it so much she bought me one. It's perfect for detail gluing. It has a small tip and only lets a little glue out at a time. So it's perfect for a project like this. It also has an on and off switch, a light to show it's on, which is great for someone like me. I once left my glue gun on for a whole weekend. Oh, and it has little wings on the side, so it won't burn the table if you set it on its side. I'll add a link in the description box below in case you want to check it out. So the last thing you'll need to do is decide how you want to hang your art. I just glue on some invisible thread and hang it on a pin at the top of my wall. But you can also use tacky or just glue them to the wall. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Poppy Seed Mini. Like, comment, share, and subscribe and have fun crafting.